them again my lovelies um i've just posted um my tutorial on the pumpkins that we just did and the leaves the tree is coming along quite nicely i just wanted to let you know in the tutorial i've just posted i didn't actually show you this on camera but what i did was i painted these with brown and i then went in with the purple I'll, I'll show it nearer to the cam camera the purple violet luster and the what's this one is this crimson velvet and if you can see where are we can you just see that look at that it really does it, it, you might not be able to see it it does look a bit funny on camera but look you see where it's just dribbled or oh, look at that you can see it just there you see where it's just kind of just sort of dribbled down the side i just sprayed it on the top and because we've obviously used our um mousse and it's given it that nice metallic -y look to the tree this has just really set it off it really does go with it nicely so i just wanted to to tell you that that's what i did with those and they were just so quick and easy they're great projects to do with with you know the kids this half term because we're in, we're now on half term aren't we and these were our lovely um glitter pumpkins and just to let you know the glitter i used on the silver one is called glitter silver silver gray that's the one I used. Right, I said I'd come back and just quickly show you the uh, tombstones and how really easy and quick it is to do these. Now, first step, I'm going to try and do this. I might have to do a bit of drying. So your first step, all I've done is I took the tonic Halloween dies and I cut them out, I think, six times and then stuck them onto each other the same with the rest in peace the r.i.p that was a tonic um die set i will put that into the picture and i've just literally stuck those on but i just wanted to show you how easy it is to to do this so all you do is you stick those down and then your next all you, let's just show you very quickly it's quite it's quite straightforward and, and easy uh, let's use a bit of a bigger piece. Let's use a bit of a bigger piece. Right, all you're going to do, this is so easy, brilliant project to do with the, with the kids. And, you know, using all your, your, you know, everything you've got in your tonic, you know. Go and have a look at all your, all your tonic products. We're just going to smooth some glue all over the front of it, okay? Making sure... The, the insides of your letters aren't gunked up with glue because you don't want those gunked up with glue. It is this, this is the most easiest thing to do. Now these are going at the bottom of my tree for my display where, where I used my, we, we did the tonic Halloween lanterns. We're going to use the tree to hang them on. Now looking at the tree, I don't think I'm going to now get able to get quite a lot of the lanterns on there. <laughs> because I've gone wild with the leaves and the leaves really do look lovely and it's just such a nice way of using your products your tonic dyes instead of using always on cards you know and we get spoiled don't we with dye sets right so all you do is you're going to pop your tissue paper over the top making sure that you just press down in the areas where the scullies okay make sure you press down on those move that down a little bit so you've got a little bit of a ridge and again press down where the the actual uh, the letters are it's just so easy this is and then just ruffle this up okay ruffle this up and then smooth it down it's so easy you know brilliant project to do with the, the, the kids and then all you're going to do push it down I mean I don't really need to teach you how to do this because I'm sure we've all done it haven't we we've all done it at school <laughs> you 
you know it's just it's so i just like projects like this because sometimes projects like this just uh, they're just fun aren't they they're fun to do with the kids and it makes a change from making cards and boxes and you know and it's a nice way to use up all your products so you then go round and then you're going to get something like that okay when you're finished so it's really rough you want all these little wrinkles see all these wrinkles in it here then all we're going to do where's my paintbrush I could have got a bigger paint paintbrush i'm going to just try and fly through this because if i oh, if i can do um a quick one and then i can get back because these are all going to go at the bottom of my tree as a display oh. there we go right there's my paint now i'm going to get messy so you will probably be better putting this into a pot but hey ho you're going to take your black paint and just paint all the way over this okay you're going to think oh that's a bit strange why are you painting all over it but it's exactly the same as what we did with the pumpkins you know this is i just thought i'd come back and do this just to show you because this was what i was going to have in the display so I thought I might as well show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it rather than doing because what I normally do is I do a tutorial I set one up and then you know I, I come back and make it but because this is just a bit of fun really it's nothing you, you know it's like I said earlier it's, it's not da Vinci <laughs> we're, we're not looking for anything too exciting but it's just it is it's fun and it's a small project i think next year i will go wild and do what i originally wanted to do and that was make a tr a big tree in the front of my house so this little tree is sort of an experiment it's kind of a little experiment as to what i'm going to do with the big tree so that if i make any mistakes <laughs> i do it on the little one rather than getting um because it's not going to be cheap, you know. I just think I've got carried away watching all these tutorials on on um, on Facebook from from all the you know from these American sites because they they just they do do Halloween, don't they? So well, they 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 really do. Some of them the the things I've seen just look like things from the movies. <laughs> They literally do. Right, I will continue painting that back bit in a minute. I'm just going to set that to one side and wait for that to just dry a little bit. It will dry off uh, a little bit, but you get the picture. So that's what you're going to get. How easy and quick was that? Now, just to show you the big one. Now, do you, sorry if you can hear my son. He's on the computer with his friends. So I will try and get through this really quickly. But this was the larger one. Now, I've done exactly the same, only I've cut the same skull, the tonic skull that I did for the um, lanterns because I wanted it to all sort of match with each other. And do you remember I said to you the pumpkins came in this? It's like a burlap. But it's a plastic type burlap, isn't it? So all I've done is I've put that underneath because it just gives it it gives it texture. So let's just now I'm going to get paint everywhere on this little project. Make sure you've got plenty of newspaper down if you're doing it with the kids. But I just want to show you. You see, I've just done exactly the same and put one sheet, and I've only put one sheet of. Um, Let's just pop that down there. I've only put one sheet of tissue paper over it. I've not gone, you know, um, I've not put any more than one because you don't need any more than one. As I kind of figured that out, really, with the tree, I was putting in too much tissue paper and then you weren't seeing the parts of the bark. But as you start working with, with tissue paper, you you know you kind of get the the picture but i just kind of wanted to show you really get into the nooks and crannies here I, I will do this a bit better but really get into the nooks and crannies i just want to i want this to dry so i might have to just quickly get the glue gun out and you're going to go ow <laughs> you're going to go ouch no, but i'm going to get because obviously i know that it's going to make a noise but i just want this to dry so that i can just show you using these tonic products on here is going to look fantastic do you, do you see you're getting that 
There you go. You can, oh, where are we? That way. You can just see it. You can see what we're going to do, can't you? We're going to run our fingers over, over the top of that. And you're going to get, I should have done one of these first, really, shouldn't I? To show you. But we're going to run our fingers over that. And then it's going to bring out all of that lovely work. And this is just to go, you know, at the bottom of the display. So, again... I don't know if any of you have been doing any Halloween projects. I, don't, I mean, if you are, how are you getting on with your Halloween projects? <laughs> I'm sure we're going to see a lot more because, you know, I keep saying it's half term now. So all the kids are out. So they're all going to want to be making, you know, their, their projects for Halloween. Um, and I, you know, I really wouldn't have minded actually getting my hands on the hangers because they did, didn't they? They had some... Um, new door hangers uh, um, tonic have just brought out some new door door hangers and it had a halloween themed uh, like an intricate part to it right I, I will do the rest of that afterwards i just wanted to get that on the front so you could see let's move that over there let's pop this over here and let's just I don't think this is going to be quite dry. So I am going to give it a quick zap at the front. Let's zap it. Sorry. I don't know if you can still hear me. <laughs> if you can. But we are just giving it a quick dry because I want to show you how good this is going to look. It's going to look amazing. And it's good to just, you, you know, use up your dyes. I'm shouting because I don't know if you can hear me. I'm not sure if you can hear me. But I'm just, I'm just trying to get this dry. Now, see, we've got some, I don't know if you could hear me. See, we've just got some bits that haven't quite, I haven't quite gone in. Can you see? With the black. So we just go in there. Just getting those just painted off. And that was, the, this is exactly the same process, by the way, as the tree. But when you go to her tutorial, I have done it. I can actually post the tutorial. I can actually post the tutorial. <laughs> I promise I'll be quick. <laughs> um, yes, I can actually post the, the tutorial that I've done. But, you know, I, um, right, we're nearly done. It's nearly dry. I can post the tutorial that I did, but I didn't want to sort of, I didn't want you thinking that it was my, you know, that it was my tutorial, the tree. Right, so now we've got the choice. Now, I'm just looking at the, the colours. Now, we could just carry on. Maybe I'll carry on. It doesn't matter either, because if you don't like the result... If you don't like the result of it, you can paint over it again and redo it. That's the beauty of these. They're brilliant. But let's just show you. I know I did show you with the tree, but let me just show you. Let's just blob some of this. Mine's a bit crumbly because it is in need of using up, which is obviously why I have, you know, I've done this because I was aware it needed using. And I thought, oh, let's use it up. So, the moment of truth. So there we go. Look at that. That looks so, that is just so fun, isn't it? And then you can just go over. You see where you've just done all of this lovely intricate work with the, well, I wouldn't say it's intricate work really, is it? Because it just is so easy to do. But you can see, look, you're just bringing up and we've got, oh, look at this. Can you see? Yes, it's really coming up. Now, how good does this look? And how quick is this project going to be with the kids? So if you can't get hold of these, like I say, they were from, where were they from? Bobby, sounds like Bobby Craft. That's where these were from. I'm sure they're probably going to still have some because, you know, it's half term, isn't it? So um, go and have a look. Go to Bobby Craft, have a look. If not, these are easy to make. These really are. But look at that. That's so fun, isn't it? And that's just using up just all the stuff in my stash from Tonic. You know, all, all these lovely dyes. Look at that. How fun does that look? It, it's still a bit wet, so I can't do the rest of it. But 
now you can see where you know these are going to go let me wipe my hands now you can see these are going to go at the bottom of the tree but you know just using up all your products that you already have and even if you don't have you know a skull just this technique is brilliant i'm going to do this my next project is going to be for next week is this memory book this haunted memory book and i am going to do this on the front cover of the memory book but i am going to put some i don't know what i'm going to put but i'm going to use this same method to do the front because i think this would look really fun it's just a really fun project to do and a really good technique and again using up all your products if you wanted to you could even spray some of this i think i will leave this but but you could spray because you get look with the pumpkin sorry my hands are absolutely messy now. but look with the pumpkin you, you see you get that lovely metallic -y effect and where did I find it within here we go can you see that I don't know how we did there we go there we go you can just see that within the lines you could spray some of the, that on there as well your nouveau you know your um mica mist just a little bit of spray I, I I will need to do that out in the open because otherwise I'm going to get the mica everywhere but a, a nice little after you've rubbed around it a nice little spray of your mica mist on top of that as well just to bring it out or just you know it will make it a really fun project i would have really liked to have done this but should we see should we see how long have i got i didn't want to make this a massively long tutorial because i thought it would be like really you know <laughs> really straight a straightforward project but let's let's have a go. Let's see if we can just. I'm not sure if you can hear me. I am going to talk. In fact, let me stand up. You can probably still hear me now. Actually, now I, I'm coming here to the to the phone. But I just wanted you to, to show you with the burlap. It's like I'm calling it burlap. I don't know if it is burlap, but it certainly looks like it. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to show you these. I just, I just love this idea. I, I did do this oh many, many, many Halloweens ago on a on a book, on a spell book, and it was it was brilliant. And I had forgotten all about this technique until I had seen again this tutorial with the tree, which is really pretty much. I think that's that's done let me just go over this a bit because we've got some um, the tutorial is pretty much what I had done many moons ago let's just go in with to all the gaps and fill those because you don't want all those gaps of white you see uh, where was I yes many moon many moons ago with this spell book it, it was the same technique and that is using the you know tissue paper you can use you can actually use uh, kitchen roll as well you can manipulate the kitchen roll i mean you could use anything i, I, I this is really not you know it's, it's, it's not da vinci or anything <laughs> but i just i just wanted to show you the detail there we go that's a bit better i just wanted to show you the detail on on this one by just putting a little bit of something else underneath the tissue paper it just gives you ideas and just it just really shows off the nouveau mousse i think i'm, I'm really going to start using this because i've got so much and you know what you don't use a lot you really really do not use a lot of nouveau um mousse on these right here we go now you see it all coming out it's the, it's the best bit isn't it i hope that's going to be dry enough now if um it goes a bit hard get your your sprays out just give it a little bit of a spray and it will come back okay don't put too much water on there but just a little bit of a spray okay 
Here we go. Ready? Oh, look at that. Oh, let's do it on camera. That would that would be better. But look at that. I love it. I just love this. And, you know, you don't need to get any of the, you know, you can use your Nouveau mousses. You don't need to have the, what's it called? Here we go. So now over the burlap. Well, I say it's, we'll call it burlap. But look at that. It just... And how quick and easy it is and how fun that can be when you, you know, you're crafting with the kids this half term. That's just a really, it's a fun idea, isn't it? I, I really love this. I'm definitely going to, to do this again. I'll just go over the skull. And that's, you know what, that's going to match perfectly with the um, tree and the lanterns that I did as well. So I, I will, I just wanted to show you, because this is, this is what, you know, I'm so excited. <laughs> when I get excited, I do a kind of speed talk. <laughs> I'm so excited that I found this again, this idea, because sometimes reviving all these old, old ideas and probably things that, you know, like we used to do these at school, didn't we? We did, we did all this at school, but... Yeah, I think that's a bit too wet now, but let's just, here we go, a bit more, just here. Oh, no, we don't want to go too far. Let's not, let's stop while we're ahead. But yes, I will finish that off. But look at that. Let's turn it that way. Let's turn it that way. Isn't that so, so much fun? I love it. So a different way of using your tonic Halloween dyes. I, I know it's sad if you haven't got them, but you, you've probably got other ones in your stash if, if you haven't got these. But build up, use your die cuts and build them up. Six I cut out of those, six I cut out of those, stuck one on top of the other, just build them up. And then, you know, you stick them on and look at that. It just looks really, really fun. So great projects to do with the kids at Halloween. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm now going to get back to finishing off the tree, which hopefully I'm, I really am hoping to get this done for tomorrow because I want to sort of display it all. I'm waiting for some moss to come. <laughs> I've, got, I've got some moss to come. To, to, to put over it but yes we're nearly there so hope you enjoyed that nice fun idea for you and the kids at Halloween and I will see you in a day or two with my finished tonic Halloween lantern tree bye <laughs>